Okay, here's the scenario. I'm in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. I've got some pictures that I want to work with. I take the pictures, you can see there's 24 of them. I drag them into DaVinci Resolve and we have three, right? Well, it's not actually bringing in three pictures. What it is is it's grouping these by file number. So notice we got 001 to 005. So basically what DaVinci Resolve is assuming here is that we're creating a time-lapse video. So if we're doing a bunch of stills for a time-lapse, we put those in order, it's gonna think that that's actually what we're doing. So if I drag it down to my timeline, it's gonna be the same thing. It's not going to, let's zoom in a little bit. It's not going to put each individual frame. It's just going to play it. And what it's playing it at is whatever our settings are. So for example, if you're doing uh, 29 frames per second, it's going to play it at 29 frames per second. And so you have to put that, but it's still playing 29 frames per second. We don't want that. We actually want this as individual frames. So let's delete this. Let's just jump over to the media pool. And in the media pool, you want to bring those in here. So I've got these saved on my desktop and you can see it's still doing the same thing. It's bringing that same number grouping into here. All you need to do is click these three little dots right here and switch it to show individual frames. And notice now I've got all my pictures. I can then take those and just do a quick control A to grab them all. Drag them down to my media pool. We can see, once again, they're still all individual frames. If I go into my edit page, once again, individual frames that I can then grab and drag into my timeline and it will play. Okay, that solves that problem. Here's a little bonus tip for you if you want. So I drag one picture in here and you can see here, let's zoom out. And I'm just hitting Alt and dialing with my mouse in case you're wondering. Notice that one image is playing for quite a bit of time, five seconds. Maybe I want it more, maybe I want it less. To change that, what you do is you go to DaVinci Resolve here, go Preferences. From inside the Preferences, we want to go to where it says Users, and then go to Editing. And then from there, we want these settings down here, General Settings. The one you want is the third one that says standard still duration. So this is gonna tell it how long we want those stills to display for by default. Change it from five. In my case, I'm gonna change it to 10. I want it to play for 10 seconds. You could do one, you can do whatever you want. You can also do frames instead of seconds. Once you decide what you want it at, hit save, grab your images, drop them onto the timeline, and notice now that new default is 10 seconds per image. A little bonus tip there for you. As always, hope you found this useful and have a good day.